Hi, in this video we are going to understand the strategy for prosthodontics for appearing uh, for all the students who are appearing for NEED and NICET. This is an important video, so please uh, listen to me very carefully. Now, as we know, prosthodontics is divided into three parts complete dentures, RPD, and FPD. So, here in this video, we are going to understand how to go about preparing for these uh, subjects and independently what all are the important questions and what should be the strategy behind preparation of this topic. Also, we are going to discuss implants and maxillofacial prosthetics. So, over the past few years, the last uh, 5 to 6 years, we have seen that there are around 15 to 18 of the total 240 questions from prosthodontics comprising of nearly 4 to 5 percent of the total weightage. Now, if you see on the overall picture, it is an important uh, subject because it is very clinically relevant and there is a lot of uh, data, a lot of theory, a lot of applied concepts that can be uh, asked in the exams. So, 15 to 18 questions is not a small number and therefore this preparation has to be thorough because even the last year there were around 13 questions and a maximum of around 19 to 20 questions have been reported in the last two years. So, if we see the trend then it is important to understand that this is an important subject and therefore it should be given that enough attention. Starting with complete denture. So, what books to refer? Now, there are a few very uh, classic books starting with Winkler. So, Sheldon Winkler is a, a very good book to read. Winkler, you can find good topics on landmarks, especially PPS. PPS is given very well in Winkler and jaw relations, teeth arrangement and occlusion even articulators for that matter. Articulators is given very well in Winkler. It's not given as well in Boucher, okay. So, articulators and occlusion, complete denture occlusion of course. And all the miscellaneous topics that is post insertion problems, problems, then relining, rebasing. So, all these topics are given very well in Winkler. Winkler is a black and white book. You may not find it very interesting to read in the first go, but it is very simple in its language. Uh, we have used this book in compilation of our uh, bytes. So, if you don't want to go to the textbook, you can always come back to the bytes. But first, be the master of your textbook. That is what I would advise. And next is Boucher, which is now known as Zab and Bolander. Uh, the South Asian editions are equally good. They are exactly same as the international editions. You can use either of them. The earlier version of Boucher, that is the earlier version of Zabin Bolander, which was known as Boucher. Ninth edition is specifically the good one, where you can find good anatomy, the landmarks, uh, histology of these landmarks, the occlusion uh, chapters, then uh, post insertion problems are better in Winkler, but they are explained. Relining and everything is better in Winkler, but tissue conditioners and everything is better in Boucher. Okay, so you can refer that book. Other than that, there are a few other textbooks which I would like to bring to your notice. There is Hartwell. Artwell is good for mandibular movements and uh, nathology basically. So, uh, orientation, jaw relation and all these topics are better conceptually explained in Hartwell, but it's a little complicated to understand from there. So, I would not recommend that on a daily basis. Then you have Sherry. Sherry is for anatomy, that's saliva, tongue, TMJ. So, again, we have better books. Complete denture related uh, anatomy is explained better in Sherry. So, these are a few books that you need to go through for complete dentures. Then coming to removable partial denture, the two standard books that we follow are McCracken and Stewart. So, McCracken is very pictoric and all the uh, representations of the components are very well given in McCracken. So, components from McCracken for image based questions specifically. So, look at the images in McCracken when you get time and Stewart is better for theory. Stewart is a very beautiful book. If you read it, it's like a storybook. You can just open and understand the concepts. Why I'm saying so is because RPD needs understanding. Once you are through the phase where understanding is clear, where the concepts are clear for RPD, then you can solve a lot of questions based on the philosophy of design and the treatment plan. So, RPD, uh, these two books are the gold standard. And then coming to FPD, Rosensteel is my personal favorite because it is very elaborate and it explains all the tooth preparations very beautifully. There is a table at the end of every chapter which includes the tooth preparation, how much should be the reduction, what should be the armamentarium and then what should be the other retentive features 
resistance form all these things are very beautifully given for all tooth preparation and uh, margin configuration so you can refer to that table just the summary of everything at the end of each chapter if you don't want to go through the depth of it and the principles of tooth preparation but of course that we've learned is from rosenstein uh, the venn's diagram of biologic mechanical and aesthetic principles so a lot of applied uh, questions can come like what should be the tooth preparation uh, the margin configuration for so and so type of a restoration or what should be the angle for the offset and what should be the bevel and what is the choice of cementation material or the impression material or the tissue or uh, gingival retraction materials all these things are uh, very conceptual based so once you get the flow of this topic you will be able to understand schillenberg is theoretical schillenberg talks more about the lab procedures but it has a lot of questions that have been previously asked in the uh, exam as for example like how much gap should be there between the hygiene pontic and the ridge so 2 mm so all these things are given better in schillenberg okay pontic is given well in schillenberg it's given well in uh, rosenstein also there's a table in uh, rosenstein which is very classic and from schillenberg you can get a lot of description words like parallel pontic and all these are explained in schillenberg more than it is explained in boucher and lab procedure are explained better in schillenberg so you can refer schillenberg for that the next book is tillman for all those who have not heard of this book it is a very good book with schematic diagrams okay so if you want to understand the uh, skeleton of a topic then you can refer tillman fundamentals of tooth preparation this is again an added manual by schillenberg now this book has uh, all tooth preparations only specifically starting with a cast metal crown pfm crown porcelain jacket crown veneers 3 4 7 8 everything okay inlay onlay mod everything is there in this book so the important features of each of these preparations now we, if you have noted in pfm crowns is the most commonly asked uh, question in terms of its bonding to metal ceramic or the margin configuration or retention form so these questions which are more frequently asked that can be studied better from a variety of textbooks so this book is a very beautiful book it is also going to help you in your clinical practice if you read this book and coming to the last two books our all time favorite rangrajan and nalla swami so these books are recommended yes because they are easy to understand but they cannot uh, replace the uh, the standard textbooks these other textbooks that i have told you so far they are the foundation and the uh, last two textbooks that we are talking about it's like a crux of all these important books so you can start reading these books first and then go to the standard books or you can start with the standard books and summarize and revise with the shorter books it is up to you uh, i would rather prefer to go to standard ones first so that i have my basics covered and then come to the skeleton or, or the conclusive part of the book so in uh, nalla swami uh, i would like to bring to your notice that uh, implants is given very well otherwise implants you can read from mish but that is too elaborate and you don't need it only in the last two years we have seen so many questions from implants and maxillofacial prosthetics so for now i think we can go easy on that and we have in our bites and questions to get you covered up on that front and the maxillofacial prosthetics can refer taylor and bumer now these two are again very elaborate in the subject and our knowledge of maxillofacial prosthetics as undergraduates or as mds uh, appearing students is very minimal and we do not want to unnecessarily waste so much time on new ventures and new topics which are not going to be you know equally fruitful so i would advise that you stick to the bites and uh, the questions that are there in the practice test and the previous year questions to get the gist of the topic if you really want to improvise on these two topics then preferably understand the pictorial uh, representations of these books because uh, pictorial uh, things will stay longer in your head because theory you will not be able to grasp so easily okay these are very technical topics and uh, rangrajan has very good tables of course so you can read tables from rangrajan and uh, diagrams are very clean and crisp so if you have any conceptual uh, problems in understanding you can refer rangrajan now how do you start i have already told you the books that we need to read but how do you start preparing so uh, in my opinion you should give around 5 days of preparation to each of these in 15 days you should be able to do fpd cd and rpd all of it together uh, you may take some time more for rpd or cd fpd usually 5 days suffices because the topics are very clear 
So how do you go about it? So we have bytes for each of these and each byte is supported with a video. So these videos are all very self-explanatory. You just tune into the video and listen to it very carefully. You will understand the bytes thoroughly. Okay. So we have impression techniques, primary impression, secondary impression, bottom holding landmarks and everything that needs to be covered is there in complete dentures under the now there are three different headings in bytes. You will find Prosto complete dentures, Prosto uh, FPD and Prosto RPD separately. Okay, so you can go through each of these like Prosto complete dentures. All these bytes are within that topic, and the videos are here with the synopsis. You can view them, watch them, and then start solving the questions accordingly. So what are these tasks? We have designed a few tasks for you so that everything is covered comprehensively. So it uh, includes impression techniques. Including the primary and final impressions, so bottom holding and bottom holding landmarks, and uh, these are all very uh, interrelated kind of topics. So if you understand this whole concept clearly, then it is very easy to solve. Jaw relation may get a little difficult for some students because they may not have practiced enough of it in the clinical setup. But uh, once you watch the videos, I'm sure you will understand at least you know 90% of it. The 10% of it you will have to put in some effort. Articulators is a very theoretical topic. Not many questions have been asked. At least in the last six years, I don't think there has been any question in the Artiswala chapter uh, in NEET. So uh, you can go a little easy on articulators, but yes, you should know mean value articulator and Hanau articulator through and through. Okay. Teeth setting and occlusion, very important. Corrections in occlusion, occlusal schemes, philosophies of occlusion, and teeth arrangement. So these parts are to be covered in that chapter special techniques includes tissue conditioners relining rebasing immediate dentures single complete dentures and whatever geriatric nutrition all these uh, extra topics small small topics so these are uh, on an odd basis there in any alternate exam so they are important and you should pay attention these are very easy topics and you cannot go wrong there image based and full syllabus test now there is something i want to tell you about image based questions Image based questions are actually very, very easy to score because you have an additional thing to look into and you may be given a history or you may be given a clinical scenario with a case. So you have a lot of information in that kind of a, a topic where you need to understand is how to prepare for this. For that, you need to read as many things as possible and go to just books and just randomly scroll through the pages because that picture is going to stay with you. Okay. So these image based questions will come only with some good amount of reading. So prior to taking up this task of image based question, I would suggest that you just scroll through these books okay, and see what all is there in these standard books because that is going to stay longer with you rather than the theory itself. And full syllabus test, of course, you need to see how well you've performed and where are your negative points and where you need to work out. So all these uh, tasks are specifically designed so that you don't miss out on anything. Next is uh, RPD bytes. Again, you start with the diagnosis and treatment plan in Kennedy's Applegate rule. Now, Kennedy's and Applegate's rules is the foundation of RPD. You cannot go wrong over there. Okay. If you have any doubts in these topics, you can always connect to us and you can tell us what is required, where you, where are you getting stuck and what is the confusion. I'm sure the uh, videos will help you out thoroughly in these topics. Then you start with the connectors. Okay. Because they are easy to understand and later you come to direct retainers. Direct retainers is a little elaborate and it takes some time to understand the mechanics, the reciprocation and the passivity and everything. That takes a while to understand which uh, direct retainers are suitable for what clinical condition. But then once you go through the tables which is given in the bytes, again the summary of everything is there in the bytes. So all you need to do is open the bytes, see the videos, go to the textbook and see the images and then solve these questions. Okay. So don't forget to uh, read about indirect retainers and surveys because indirect retention was there in last exam in 2021. Uh, the definition, the definition itself was the question. Okay. So the definition was given and this is known as so indirect retainer with a fulcrum line and everything was given. So a lot of students miss out on such small, small details and that's where you lose marks. The task that you need to solve for this uh, topic that is RPD. So Apple Gates rules with Kennedy's classification and the components start with the components. So the designing part becomes easy. Okay. So parts of surveyor design in RPD and of course image based and full syllabus test. So last, last year, three questions were there. The year before there were two questions. The year before there were four questions. So the trend is at least two to four questions are always there from RPD. So that's a good number. I think it's very easy to score. 
and you should not miss out on this. And lastly, we have uh, fixed partial dentures, uh, FPD, uh, focus on tooth preparation. These are the different videos and the bites. Focus on uh, the different types of preparations. That is uh, full coverage crown, partial coverage crown. Focus on cementation, gingival retraction. These are some important things that you cannot miss on. PFM crowns, these are important, okay. And veneers, usually one or the other question is always there. So veneers is a small topic and you can afford to give that much time because one question more or less comes from that in some or the other form, okay. And uh, lastly, one more thing that I want to tell you is that maxillofacial and implants, uh, the bites are there in the uh, database. So you can go through these bites and also the videos will be updated soon. So that also you have to go through. Plus uh, on top of that, uh, solve all the questions on maxillofacial and implants that are there and uh, read their explanations thoroughly. Okay, Try to grasp in as much as possible from the set of questions that you are trying to solve. Now coming to the tasks in FPD. So you have principles of tooth preparation, margins, pontix. Pontix is important, okay. Image based questions, uh, clinical application based questions, all these questions are very important in pontix. Then uh, PFM crowns, occlusion in FPD, told you metal ceramic crowns, image based and full syllabus test of course is very important. So these are the few important things that you need to uh, plan in FPD. Uh, I hope uh, this strategy video is useful to you and uh, you plan accordingly. A lot of students Fear prosto. So I am hoping that this will help you understand the subject better and you will do equally well. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck.